Today we are discussing about complications of diabetes. So uh, this complication is like macrovascular complications or also known as chronic complications of diabetes. Like so peripheral vascular disease so and uh, cerebral vascular disease and coronary artery disease. Coming to the peripheral vascular disease. So how, how the patient present with peripheral vascular disease. So patient peripheral vascular disease means there is an occlusion of blood vessels in the peripheries like in the legs or in the upper limbs like hands or in the arms or forearms so okay symptoms of uh, peripheral vascular disease are uh, claudication pain claudication pain means while walking while walking you'll feel pain at the ankle or in the calf muscles or in the thigh muscles especially in upper limbs so you'll get pain on tingling sensation or pain in the distal part in the terminal part of your phone toes and fingers okay so these are the symptoms of Claudication pain. Apart from that, you'll be getting the uh, like a decreased sensation or loss of sweating or loss of hair over the skin. These are the symptoms. So how to prevent? How to prevent the? These are the complications. Right? So daily you have to monitor the foot examination. What we call a foot examination. Daily while bath bathing, so you have to check for the foot. So is there any swelling? Is there any ulcers? Is there any skin rashes? Those things. And so you have to avoid using hot water so it will prevent the formation of ulcers. And next main uh, treatment is to control the sugar. So you have to control the sugar aggressively. So fasting sugar should be less than one uh, less than one thirty, and postprandial sugar should be less than one sixty to one seventy, and HbA1c should be less than seven percent. So by doing this one, you can control the peripheral vascular disease. Today I am discussing about the complications of diabetes. So one is acute complications like hypoglycemia. So how to manage hypoglycemia at home? So symptoms of hypoglycemia are so easy fatigue and palpitations, or in increase in heart rate, sweating. So these are the nervousness, these are the anxiety, these are the symptoms of hypoglycemia. So what is hypoglycemia? So when the blood glucose level goes less than 70 mg per day, so it causes symptoms of hypoglycemia. So how to manage the symptoms of hypoglycemia at home? So one thing is, so we have to give carbohydrate, uh, carbohydrates in the form of uh, uh, in the form of sugars or candy and fresh fruit juice or uh, three to four spoons of glucon D powder or they can use uh, jaggery or you can use one to spoon of uh, honey or two one to two spoons of simple sugars at home. And uh, so after 15 minutes, you have to check the sugars again and you have to repeat the same um, uh, diet what I has told. And after, immediately you have to give foods within 40 to 60 minutes, you have to give food uh, for proper food. So these are the awareness you have to take at home for the to prevent the hypoglycemia at home. Today I am discussing about other complications of diabetes. So other complications like microvascular complications, it's like diabetic retinopathy, diabetic nephropathy, and diabetic uh, neuropathy. So coming to the diabetic uh, uh, nephropathy. So nephropathy means there is a complication to the kidneys. So how the patients can present with the complications? So usually in initial stages, patient will not present with any symptoms on doing regular so every year health checkup while doing the regular routine checkup so we will come to know that patients have any deranged creatinine kidney functions so but for that you have to use you will check basically serum creatinine values or urine protein levels so if the urine protein levels are increasing or serum creatinine levels are increasing it is a direct indirectly suggest our patient is going for complication so some other complications like early morning facial puffiness, so swelling of the lower limbs, easy tiredness, 
So these are some other symptoms of nephropathies. So again for the treatment, so how to prevent these are the nephropathies? So adequate sugar control by fasting sugar less than 130, postprandial sugar less than 160 to 170 and HbA1c less than 7 gram, 7 percent. And so daily, so avoiding high protein diet food in patients going for overt diabetic nephropathy.